The obvious assumption is that the only reason to ever watch anything is for pure enjoyment, and that assumption is 100% correct according to my sources. Anyone who thinks differently should stop watching things they don't like because it's a waste of time they could spend on something they like. If anyone ever criticizes anything, you should instantly question why they bothered watching it if they didn't like it, and if they begin criticizing more things, you should then question if they like anime at all. <laughs> The way two-dimensional animation quality works is exactly like CGI in that it is almost entirely dependent on technological capability and has absolutely nothing to do with the specific people who are drawing it. Nobody was able to efficiently draw until the capabilities of digitally assisted animation reached a certain capacity that allowed them to draw well. Just compare Digimon Try with any Ghibli movie made in the 80s. Notice how the older animation has blander or darker colors, making Digimon Try superior in every way possible in terms of animation. The year the anime came out has a direct correlation towards its animation quality, which always gets better as the year increases regardless of studio, budget, or amount of time or effort put into it. For whatever reason, you may eventually attempt to read what is called a visual novel, most likely because you watched some dumb anime that was based off one. The literal translation from the Japanese phrase Bijuaru no beru into English is pornographic game. There's no reason you should ever read any of them, because the fact that any and every one of these novels is entirely pornographic in nature, with absolutely zero outliers, means that they are all terrible. But you might say, but aren't there a lot of well-received titles in other mediums that have pornographic or nearly pornographic material in them? Well, that's true, but since those are part of a real medium, unlike visual novels, it means that the pornographic material can be ignored in that case. Fan service exists in a lot of anime, and is not limited to only a few genres. With this, you may ask, how can I tell the difference between bad and good fan service? The answer is obvious, as your intuitive definition of what bad is is the only thing that ever matters, and there is no reason to try to give any other explanation because it's just fan service. For example, Zegapain is a show that I like that has pretty much zero thematic focus on sexuality. Throughout the show, the camera provides us with butt shots. Of course, you might say, what do those butt shots have to do with the show at all? That's a valid point, but complaining about anything in a show I like would be ridiculous, as admitting that an element that appears in a show that makes me not like it can also appear in ones I do like would make me look like an idiot. No. The first thing you should do when you look at a My Anime List page is scroll down and look at what the source of the anime is. If it says light novel, you might as well ignore that one because anything adapted from a light novel is always bad. Also, if you get a certain vibe from the pictures or the synopsis, such as it having any hint of high school elements or the possibility of it being Fujoshi bait, then that means it's certainly bad and you shouldn't bother with it. Your first assumption is always right, and even if any sort of evidence comes up to counteract what you said, just don't say anything about it since doing that effectively means that that evidence never existed. <laughs> Say you have two ways to explain something. The first is one sentence long, the other is one paragraph. The former is always going to be better because it took less time to get across its point. If you've already explained the basic idea, that's good enough and you shouldn't try too hard to better explain yourself. There's no reason to ever try to explain further or get into the finer details of a certain subject because the general idea is always good enough on its own. This is precisely why my Hunter x Hunter video was only five minutes long. The same thing could be said for anime, since if one anime does does the same thing as another in less time, it is most certainly better. <laughs> Everybody knows that since opinions are not facts and are therefore not objectively verifiable, nobody's opinion can ever be questionable. Everyone is subject to their own mindsets and ways of thinking, so it's best to just let everyone else sit in their own little box while ignoring everything anyone else does, as we know that all people are completely different and that anything anyone else does to you can never be directly applicable to you. Since you are not them, you cannot possibly set a parallel within your mind to match what they are saying. So the next time someone tries to explain why they disagree with your opinion, let them know that that their reasoning is irrelevant because all thoughts are 100% subjective even if you justify them with facts. 